there at attributes. Let me have a quick revision of uh, what is the attribute. So attribute is a data field or a representation or a characteristics or a feature of a data object, right? Which we have seen now. Uh, this attribute uh, can also be called as dimensions, features or variable. Uh, when you go in data warehousing terms, uh, we use dimensions for machine learning. We call these attributes as a features. And if you go and ask statisticians, the statistician will call these attributes as a variable. This is what we have seen in a previous lecture. Correct. So we have three types of attributes, uh, nominal, binary and a numeric attributes. Correct. So let me go with the uh, nominal attributes. So this nominal attributes, they are relating to names. So uh, it can be uh, attributes, uh, nominal attributes are symbols or the name of a things. We can have uh, some kind of category, code, state or so on. Uh, the example of this nominal attributes is like a hair color or a marital states. Uh, we have the hair color like brown, gray, white, red and the marital states like uh, married, single, divorced, uh, widow. So the order is also not important in this case and they are names. Right, so nominal attributes are names which we can say. Fine, so uh, let's go to this uh, binary attributes. Binary attributes have two states like 0 and 1. Fine, uh, here we have seen that we, we have seen the symmetric binary attributes and a symmetric binary attributes. What do you mean by symmetric binary attributes? It means that both the values are uh, carrying equal weights. The example is a gender. So male and female carries equal weight. But if you go to the asymmetric attributes, in asymmetric attributes, uh, one of the value may carry more importance or you can say more weight. So take example of uh, uh, HIV test. Uh, so if it is uh, uh, negative, say it has a less weightage, but if it is a positive, it has more weightage because it is a rare one. And then you need to take some actions up, uh, after the result of positive Right. So these, this is an example of a symmetric attribute. Then let's go to this ordinal attributes. Ordinal attributes are uh, having the meaningful orders. Uh, for example, the ranks which you get, get in your uh, college days, uh, like uh, secondary, first class, uh, second class, first class, then higher, sec sorry, second class, higher, second class, first class, and then first class with distinction. So we have those orders over there. Even same in the professional lives also, we have some orders, a hierarchy, which is to be crossed to get the promotions. So these orders are very much important. Similarly, uh, when we go for any surveys, the survey can have some order like a very dissatisfied somewhat sati dissatisfied, neutral, satisfied, and very satisfied. So this ordinal attributes are one which has the meaningful order. Fine. And now move to this numeric type of attributes. A numeric attribute is a quantitative attribute. Uh, that means it is a measurable quantity and uh, which is represented in the integer or a real uh, or a real values. Fine. So, uh, so these numeric attributes are interval scale or ratio scale. So now let's see what the, what are these interval scale attributes are. Yes, these interval scale attributes are measured on a scale of equal size units. The values of these interval scale attributes have order and that can be positive or negative as well. Uh, this in addition to provide the rank of the values, such attributes allow us to compare and quantify the difference between the values. So these are my interval attributes. So uh, again, as a conclusion, what can we say? Uh, they are measured on the scale of equal sized units. Right. Uh, for example, the temperature attribute is an interval scale attribute. Now, why do we call this temperature as an interval scale attribute? Because uh, suppose we have the outdoor temperature value for a number of a different days where each day is an object. So by ordering the values, we, we obtain a ranking of the object with respect to the temperature. Right. Uh, temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit uh, do not have the true uh, zero point as we know and uh, neither zero degree of a or zero Fahrenheit indicates no temperature. Correct. So uh, if we have the scales 
right uh, because the interval scale attributes are numeric we can compute their mean values in addition to the median mode and of major uh, central major tendencies also so uh, these are even the calendar dates are interval values right say we can say fortnight we can say weekly or we can say daily so there is a specific interval in that so daily we have a specific interval in a fortnight we have the interval of 15 days uh, if we go weekly we have the interval of 8 days right so these are my interval numeric attributes and then the other type of the numeric attributes are the ratio scale attributes the ratio scale attribute is a numeric attribute with an inherent zero point that is if a, a measurement is a ratio scale we can speak of a value as being a multiple of another value so ratio scale ka matlab kya hota hai that uh, we can say something which is a multiple of other so in addition the values are ordered and we can also compute the difference between values as well as median and mode between them correct so uh, uh, take an example of this uh, ratio scale uh, attribute so ratio scale attribute see uh, unlike a temperature in celsius and fahrenheit uh, the kelvin temperature scale has uh, what is considered as a true zero so we know that zero degree of kelvin is equal to minus 273.15 degree centigrade so it is the point at which the particles that comprise matter have a zero kinetic energy that is my zero degree of uh, kelvin's uh, temperature so uh, this is my one of the uh, uh, ratio scale and then uh, with the another ratio scale attribute example we can say count attribute such as a year of experience right so we can have the ratio with each other comparison with each other that is my year of experience uh, for example say my object is a employee object and uh, number of words uh, are like a uh, number of words from the documents right so year of experience employee object ka jo ye year of experience attribute rahega that is my ratio scale attribute so i can say that uh, you you can have the base as one and you can have the uh, on that basis we can have the scaling of other uh, employees experience correct so it can be a multiple of it right a multiple of it even in a similar manner the number of words your document mein number of words wala jo attribute hota hai wo bhi aapka ratio scale attribute hota hai correct uh, in addition to that we can have the attributes to major weight height then ye jo hota hai latitude longitude uh, even the coordinates uh, when we are uh, measuring the location of any house there we need a coordinate right even the uh, monetary quantities like uh, suppose i can say that uh the one person x is 100 times richer than uh the person b right or even we can say that uh person a uh, you are 100 times richer with dollar 1000 right so like this uh, we can have the comparison we can have the ratio attributes so these are few types of attributes which have seen we have seen just now so again let us repeat the types of attributes we have seen nominal we have seen binary ordinal and a numeric attribute types correct uh, even in numeric we have interval and ratio scale now let us see uh, what are these discrete and the continuous attributes correct uh, so um, see uh, we have organized now till now that uh, that uh, attributes in the different categories like nominal binary ordinal and numeric correct uh, these are this is one way of organi organizing my attributes right uh, even uh, we can have some another ways also of uh, categories of the attributes uh, and which are exclusive mutually exclusive word each other right so they are continuous and discrete so attribute can be either continuous or discrete, discrete it cannot be both so that is the reason i said that it is a mutually exclusive property uh, see uh, when we go for the classification algorithms uh, these classification algorithms are developed from the field of machine learning and uh, these algorithms often uh, take a reference of uh, attributes which are being either discrete or continuous correct right? so uh, let's see in detail what are these discrete and continuous attributes correct so first we will uh, look at discrete attributes this discrete attributes has a finite or countably infinite state of values which may or may not be represented as integers iska meaning kya hua discrete attributes se so unke uh, 
finite values it means we are able to define the values for those discrete attributes or we can say that they are countably infinite means jo count kar sakte hai infinite hai but still i am able to count it i can say that 1 2 3 4 5 6 so uh, so that's the reason i say a discrete attribute has a finite or countably infinite set of values which may or may not be represented as integers uh, let's take an example uh, so the attribute like a hair color or i can say a smoker test or i can say medical test or a drink size so these have the finite number of values correct jaise hair color to aap kaise bolte ho red black correct or white if i say the medical test positive negative if i say drink size i can say a small medium and a large size of a drink right so these are the uh, finite number of values which can be used to uh, used to represent those attributes correct and so i can say that these attributes are the discrete attributes so uh, uh, let's have one more note on this discrete attributes that uh, these discrete attributes have numeric values such as a 0 and 1 for the binary attributes and values 0 to say uh, something else for the attributes say age to har ek ka ek representable value hai hame har ek ko numeric value hai right to this discrete attributes correct now uh, uh, an attribute is countably infinite if the set of possible values is infinite but values can be put in one to one correspondence with natural numbers समझे ये मीनिंग होता है आपका काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट का सो प्लीज लिसन टू इट अगेन वन मोर टाइम कि मैंने क्या बोला था स्टार्टिंग में कि डिस्क्रिट एट्रीब्यूट कौन से होते हैं जो फाइनाइट वैल्यूज होते हैं या फिर काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज दीज आर माई डिस्क्रिट एट्रीब्यूट राइट नो वॉट इज दिस काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट टर्म दिस काउंटेबली इनफाइनाइट टर्म से इज दैट if the set of possible values is infinite but the values can be put in a one to one correspondence with natural number correct to aapke paas jo set of values hai wo bahut infinite hai lekin jo values hai unko aap ek number ko map kar sakte ho ek natural number ko map kar sakte ho isliye hum bolte hai ki wo countably infinite hai uh, just take a simple example jaise ki apna attribute hai customer id it is countably infinite correct why, why because number of customers can grow in to infinity infinity correct but actually in reality kya hota hai the actual set of values is countable where the values can be put in a one to one correspondence with the set of integers i say that i have a infinite number of customers but actually i am able to count them i can able to map them to some numeric value or a integer so i say that this customer id is countably infinite and it is a discrete attribute please remember it is a discrete attribute then i have this zip codes uh, zip codes you all know uh, they, uh, for every region we have a zip code for every city we have a zip code right so this zip code have a values but they are they are infinite we are able to count them we, so we called it countably infinite correct so i hope you understood the discrete attributes um, now let's go to the continuous attributes uh, now suppose if if attribute is not a discrete then it is a continuous because i said initially only that this discrete and uh, continuous attributes are mutually exclusive so if the attribute is not discrete then it is a continuous the term uh, numeric attribute and a continuous attribute is uh, generally used together like uh, means interchangeably we can say like numeric or continuous uh, same isme work hota hai uh, but uh, it may be confusion to us uh, but real values are presented using a finite number of digits but continuous attributes are typically represented as a floating point variables द साइनोसाइडल वेव अपने देखे जो साइन वेव कॉस वेव होते हैं दीज आर कंटिन्यूस एट्रीब्यूट बिकॉज टू एवरी पॉइंट यू हैव अ वैल्यू करेक्ट सो आई से दैट देर इज अ कंटिन्यूटी इन अ वैल्यूज इट्स नॉट एड एंड दैट इज द रीजन सी आपने साइन वेव कॉस वेव देखा है करेक्ट अब ये वेव्स को हम डिस्क्रिटाइजेशन करते हैं या सिग्नल सैम्पलिंग करते हैं टू कन्वर्ट इन टू डिस्क्रिट वैल्यूज फॉर अवर स्टडी पर्पज we take some samples by discretizing the continuous value 
दिस इज वॉट वी जनरली यूज इन द रिसर्च करेक्ट तो साइन वेव्स या कॉस वेव्स होते हैं दो कोसाइन वेव्स आर द कंटिन्यूस एट्रीब्यूट सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस डिस्क्रीट एंड कंटिन्यूस एट्रीब्यूट एज वेल so till now we have seen the types of attributes and uh, what is an attribute different types of attributes and then we were at a discrete and continuous attributes